Turn now to the big legal setback for Donald Trump. A New York judge has ruled that the former president committed years of financial fraud, the most significant punishment dealt to the pre former president yet. Uh, they claim he was infailing, inflating the value of his assets as charged in a lawsuit brought by the New York State Attorney General. Senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky has the latest. Good morning, Aaron. George, good morning to you. The civil case here is the first in a year of courtroom battles that could determine former President Trump's future, and the first round brings a resounding defeat. This morning, former President Trump is vowing to appeal a ruling by a judge in New York that found he committed years of financial fraud, inflating his net worth by as much as $2.2 billion. The judge determined the conduct so egregious and clear there was no need to hear testimony or evidence at a civil trial set to begin next week. The judge decided Trump valued his Palm Beach estate, Mar-a-Lago, at 20 times what it's actually worth, $600 million, compared to the assessed value of $27 million. Trump's interest in 40 Wall Street, the judge said, is worth $200 million. The Trump Organization valued it at more than $500 million. And the judge found Trump overvalued his apartment in Trump Tower by tripling its square footage. He said it's 30,000 square feet, when in truth, the judge said it's 11,000. The judge adding a discrepancy of this order of magnitude by a real estate developer sizing up his own living space of decades can only be considered fraud. On the campaign trail, Trump often boasts of his business acumen. I have some of the greatest assets anywhere in the world. The ruling is a victory for New York Attorney General Letitia James, who sued Trump, his eldest sons, and his company last year for $250 million. In a statement, James saying she looks forward to presenting the rest of our case at trial. All that's really left for the trial to determine is how much the Trumps have to pay. The former president attacked the judge and the attorney general, calling them Trump-hating. The judge's ruling comes with immediate consequences, stripping Trump of his ability to operate. And it could mean he has to give up control, sell some of the properties that he owns here in New York, including buildings with his own name on it. The judge also fined his attorneys $7,500 apiece, ruling George that they repeatedly made defense arguments that the judge said were straight out of fantasy world. George. Okay, Aaron, thanks very much. Let's talk more about the consequences. Now we have our chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams, right here. This seems like a big win for the attorney general. It is. It is a big win. I mean, basically what the judge has done is reviewed the documents in the case and said, this is all I need. This is a documents case. It is clear that there was fraud here. And as a result, there is nothing for a trier of fact, a judge or a jury to assess, because after reviewing everything, there aren't any open questions, is basically what the judge Isn't just that said. Isn't juries are for? It can be, but remember, this is a civil case, not a criminal case, yeah. right? In a criminal case, you wouldn't see a defendant with a ruling like this. In a civil case, where it's for money damages, basically the judge is saying there are no outstanding issues to resolve, and in all likelihood, it would be the judge would be the trier of fact in this situation anyway. Beyond the size of the fine, if that's what a jury ends up finding, this has significant consequences for the business of Donald Trump here in New York. Absolutely. If this holds up on appeal, this could mean he loses buildings, it means he loses properties, he loses control. Um, it, this, you could argue, is more immediately perilous to some degree than some of the criminal cases to Donald Hits Trump. Him in his pocketbook. Correct, where, where, you know, where he really cares. Um, and, and not to suggest he doesn't care about the criminal cases, but there are all sorts of arguments in the criminal cases about why they won't move forward now, et cetera. This one has now worked its way through the court. It's already in the appellate court to some degree. And this judge is saying, Donald Trump loses resoundingly on this question of fraud. Supposed to go to trial next week, but there's a chance that may not happen? Correct. So there's currently an appeal, an effort by Trump's team to delay the trial. We're expecting a ruling on that. And that'll tell us more than just about the timing of the trial. It'll give us a sense of where the court is going on some of the claims made here. So keep a close eye on that ruling from the appeals court. Dan Abrams, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.